26th day already February 2022 I'm Dana how are you I just slept since Thursday night I, when I woke up I got to work on this show and slept day after day all day I guess it's all those pills I'm taking because of the heart surgery right I'm liking it. Uh, hey, you know, another thing about this is uh, since I had the heart surgery last week, I don't wake up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom multiple times. It was worth it just for that alone, you know what I mean? <laughs> but we're here to talk about nuclear. Ew, nuclear. I'm known as the gamma goat according to the nuclear industry. The coward nuclear industry, let me rephrase that. You can call in at 709-589, the big 4406. And we're going to get right after it. I got a kind of a big show tonight. Nuclear power, uh, evil death cult. That's the first nuclear meltdown allegedly on the planet it's known as chalk river here in canada scumbag canada uh, another thing you might want to if you're not familiar with this subject is uh, fukushima nuclear meltdown they covered it up it's a catastrophic event and if you don't know about it it's not your fault it is if you don't stick around and learn, but it's not your fault because you covered it up. Here's just four of the thousands of media that pretended the building was intact. The actual real building is to your left. So why would all the media worldwide take a chance and pretend? Imagine that they're all in on it. If that doesn't worry you, you don't have a pulse. The original buildings, there was four of them melted down, caught fire and blew up and blew up and caught fire. Unlike Chernobyl, each building had decades of reactor cores at the top of the buildings. So when they gutted them, they were no longer 190-foot buildings. They put these decrepit, bizarre structures they built off-site and laid it there with cranes because it's lethal doses. And then the media pretended worldwide they're in a building that don't exist. Welcome to the scumbag world of nuclear. I hope everybody had a great weekend. I see we're loaded crew tonight. 11 people on this show. Wow. That's amazing. Where the hell did all these people come from? <laughs> I was going to do shows where I wrap shit on a stick and call it fertilizer, but I did want to have a couple of hundred thousand people on each show, right? So I went nuclear. To guarantee nobody watches my show. Fukushima Prefecture, the victimized, brainwashed Fukushima Prefecture students going back to their hometown, which is Futaba, which is two kilometers from ongoing multiple nuclear meltdowns and eight detonated reactor core fuel pools. It makes Chernobyl look like a paper towel, and Chernobyl is not a paper towel. But Fukushima dwarfs it. I think for every nuclear student that is tricked into going back to the nuclear wasteland, at least 100 nuclear scientists should be thrown in a wood chipper. That's just me. I'm not saying do that. I'm just saying that's me personally, legally, thrown in a wood chipper. The death penalty for nuclear scientists should be wood chippers or burning them at the stake or I'm kind of divided. Maybe burn them halfway to death on the stakes, then throw them in a wood chipper. Does that sound like I'm a bad person? Well, I'm sure a lot of people, when they find out what the nuclear industry got done, will be looking for a lot worse than that. I just despise every morsel of the nuclear industry. 
long before Fukushima happened on top of that, but since Fukushima happened, well, they're so evil, it, there's no comparison. We, we actually got no comparison to this evil scum degenerate industry known as nuclear. So they moved these victims to a community that's incredibly highly radioactive, Uh, speaking of incredible scum, United Nations is an absolute scourge on our planet. Average uh, disposition density of cesium on soil per square meter. So in that community where the children evacuated to is a nuclear wasteland, 24,000. Now they're only acknowledging cesium, and every time you hear the word cesium, just visualize curb stomping a nuclear scientist. It'll make you feel better. It's, dis it's a despicable, disgusting, revolting, parasitic industry. Everybody in the industry seems to be unbelievably parasitic, predatory. They're the last people you want as a neighbor, trust me. Students will move to the nuclear wasteland starting in April of this year. You're talking about a ghost town, a ghost town, two kilometers away from multiple ongoing nuclear meltdowns that might not stop for a thousand years. You're talking about an evacuation zone because the radiation levels are skyrocket. They're moving the students back because adults are not... They're moving the students back in order to make the industry look like it has some human attributes to trick people into thinking that way. But this is proof that they have no attributes that should be on this planet. This is genocide, what we've already done. I, I think it's striking how evil they're actually turned out to be. We haven't found a single academic in the nuclear industry that has a morsel of humanity, not a single one. <clears throat> Many of the students don't know much about Akuma. Yeah, because they're children, you disgusting, despicable, revolting, heartless scum. You really are scumbags. And the people that wrote the article should be shot out of a cannon like they use in a circus at a wall full of spikes. The 14-year-old said with a smile, I interpreted returning to my hometown as not as a good boy. I feel excited about returning to a nuclear wasteland. <clears throat> Everybody on the planet should hang their head in shame that a nuclear scientist actually exists on our planet and pro-nuclear. In fact, I got a uh, poll tonight to help articulate <clears throat> my thoughts on is pro-nuclear the opposite of being a human? There's actually only one answer. The answer is yes. And anybody that voted no should be burned at a stake. And you might think I'm talking pretty rough, right? <clears throat> well, the minute you start understanding what's going on, you're going to be much worse than I am. I'm being polite. Burning them at the stake is polite. Once the planet finds out what they want to do, what they've done, <laughs> and it's going to happen because we're never going to give up. Students tour, uh, deliver a fun experience in Fukushima, a devastated Futabar. I want to take you back to a couple of years ago, to 20, or 2021 December. He brought students back to a nuclear wasteland and said it was a fun experience. There, there is no such thing as a good nuclear person, a pro-nuclear. There, there really isn't. Uh, the stories I was trying to find were removed because there was... This is digital. Major Japanese media, the top page of the news site, due to renewal. Like all the stories where they, come, not all of them, but a lot of the stories where they came out with absurd propaganda got removed within a year or two. 
why stories about nonsense will never get removed. I managed to find the story. The story I was looking for was students tour uh, deliver fun experience in a nuclear wasteland. Historic sailboat nuclear disarmament message visits Savannah. We're all over the place. There was an earthquake in Japan on the weekend, if you're not familiar with that. A 6.1 in Hokkaido Island. We'll get to that. Uh, there's been no updates after the first couple of hours. They stopped up. It was just original reports. There was no further updates. I managed to dig up a little bit. Golden Rule Sailboat. But there was one point there that they made. It's Currently, the U.S. spends $84,000 per minute on nuclear weapons. $84,000 a minute on something you can't use. And so, like, if you look at the big picture of how nuclear industries, there's 9,000 industries, by the way, in nuclear, and all of them are just sucking the life out of your countries and out of your planet, every one of them. So it's 1,440 minutes in a day. There's 5, 525,000 minutes in a year. That's $44 billion a year. <coughs> it's disgusting. $44 billion a year just on maintenance. A great country lavishes billions of taxpayer dollars on contracts with corporations like Lockheed and Boeing, while the victims of the country cry for housing and sufficient food. So that's enough to buy uh, half a million people that are homeless a home. Or pay for college degrees for underprivileged uh, s children that could easily graduate and do something good. The wholesale theft, not that a university is going to help you be smart anymore. The wholesale theft of the nation's riches to create a doomsday machine instead of ensuring the prosperity of all the people. So that's $44 billion a year that we know about just for maintenance. Hanford cleanup cost up to six hundred and seventy seven more billion dollars. Six hundred and seventy seven billion dollars <clears throat> and nine billion dollars a year until twenty seventy nine. Uh by the way, ninety percent of the money for nuclear goes to administration. They keep hiring their uh friends children who work in the nuclear industry, and they'll do likewise. Spending would peak at $16 billion a year on the upper end. <clears throat> $16 billion a year for a single site. They got hundreds of these super fun sites. This was a calculation I'd done trying to figure out what 450 billion gallons of lethal radioactive liquid that was dumped into the soil at uh, Hanford. It works out a six feet tall, it would be a six feet wide, 518 feet tall um, aquarium of lethal nuclear waste by the leader, 518 feet tall wrapped around the entire planet. That's just one of the many, many, many hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and thousands of dumping that they've done in the nuclear industry. Do you have any concept of how catastrophic that is for the entire planet? I can't find a single redeeming quality to the nuclear industry. Imagine $677 billion to clean up a single site and, of course, this is ludicrous. They're expecting it, you know, in other reports we got, 
it would be at least 300 years. And it's highly unlikely. You can't clean up something that ran into the Columbian River and washed out into the Pacific, can you? And poisoned every human in a thousand square miles of the river as it runs to the ocean. Think about the nuclear war they had, they call it testing in the Bikini Atolls, is one of the many ones. Over a million square kilometers, highly radioactive. And if you ask the nuclear industry, they say, no, no, everything's good. They, they, they really don't have anybody in the nuclear industry that the world can connect with. Right, they're, they're trying to use Elon Musk and Bill Gates in desperation because if you look at the nuclear industry, you're just going to run away in absolute terror. So they had 67 nuclear tests in the Marshall Islands, um, assortment of fission fusion devices, hydrogen bombs. Some of them would yield at 15 megatons which is, um, I mean, one of the bombs, the Bravo bomb, one of the Bravos, was equal to a thousand Hiroshima's. If you set off a thousand Hiroshima's, is that a nuclear war or not? Because you can pretend it's not, but it is. And, and where do you draw the line? Because they won't. Do you really think it's an accident that I got less than 20 people on my show? Is pro-nuclear degenerate, pro-scumbag, pro-nuclear the opposite of being a human? Imagine coming in and voting no with the evidence that shows clearly these are nothing but scum of the earth. They have absolutely zero redeeming qualities. Zero. Zilch. They have no attributes of being a human whatsoever. They're the opposite. They hate us with a passion. They hate all 8 million species with a passion. I can't possibly articulate how evil this scum, degenerate industry actually is. Radioactive, I can come close, but you can't really do it justice. They're, they're evil on a whole different scale than anybody can conceive Radioactive fallout from the testing program contacted a huge swath of land and ocean, extending over a million square kilometers. Uh, like, there's so much of this, it's a wonder that anybody's even alive today. And everybody's alive today is sick from the ingestion of radioactive materials, particularly since for disgusting, despicable, hateful Japan done to us. Continue to grow food and ship it worldwide with the help of UN and the World Health Organization and everybody else, which is the same, by the way. Tokyo, Satama residents say no to living near Fukushima soil. So we talked about this before. Where they're going to ship soil to Tokyo and put it in from Fukushima. From the, like, they got over 30 million one ton bags that they picked up, which is less than 3% of Fukushima Prefecture, because you can't clean up the forest and the hills and the mountains, right? <clears throat> they're, so, they're so disgusting, they're so despicable, they're so hateful, they guarantee the extinction of all the species. There's no checks and balances. We're, we're the only ones that even come close to it. All 18 of us. <laughs> you got to realize that I had 24,200 subscribers for four years. I never lost one and never gained one for four years while we were doing research expeditions. The desperation of these cowards, these incredible, despicable cowards to censor me hasn't gone unnoticed. The idea is to make you think the video is not worth clicking on, right? You'll never find better information. You'll never find, unfortunately, embarrassingly, humiliatingly, you'll never find anybody else telling this story. Teaching, I should say, right? Doing an educational programs. 
The flower beds and uh, another thing with the heart attack was it wrecked my eyesight, eh? Where decontamination soil from Fukushima Prefecture well, three heart attacks will probably do that to anybody, no doubt, will be used. So they're going to use, try wrapping your mind around this. They got 30 million one-ton bags, but they don't want to store it. So they want to reuse it. They wanna, they're want they using it in farmlands and agricultural and flower beds in order to trick you into complacency, using flower beds. But they're, they're dumping it out in farmland, growing food in it. They didn't pick it up because it was harmless. And it doesn't turn to fairy dust after 12 years or 12,000 years. It still has the exact same deadly attributes to everything with replicating cells. Residents of Tokyo, and in particular, Satama, are up in arms. Environmental ministries plan to reuse decontamination soil. First off, there's no academics working on any of that. This was picked up by the homeless, the destitute, the victims of society to give the illusion you can't clean up after a nuclear accident. It can't be done. Including a major park in the capital. I think it's striking how incredibly evil they've gotten since this has happened. They formally submitted requests on February 24th asking to suspend the plan to distribute the soil that was formally contaminated from radioactive fallout due to the triple meltdown. It's four meltdowns, four reactors, buildings melted down, and eight fuel pools. They covered up reactor four. That's what they call a triple, see? At the Fukushima, it took them three years to admit there was a meltdown for starters. We forced them to. We also forced them to stop saying the words bananas. The whole story, you have to make a hundred documentaries just to try to cover a lot of it, a majority of it, of how evil they actually are. The plan announced in December is aimed at reducing the volume that would go to final disposal storage sites. The aim is at reducing the volume. And how do they plan on doing that? Is putting it in farmland and places like that. So the local, they're going to move it to Tokyo, dump it in a spot where they're going to grow flowers to make people complacent because there's around 2 million people a year visit this site. It's evil that can't continue. We can't let it continue. Nobody on the planet, no species can have a future and nuclear on this planet. And there, there's so many generations of scum, so many generations of degenerate inbreeding, that the current generation are completely disconnected from the human experience. Hence the reason we got a poll tonight is pro-nuclear the opposite of being a human? Yeah, of course it is. Like anybody who voted no to that is obviously, you know, a subhuman species. The two other Canada test sites are the National Institute for Environmental Study. So imagine an institute, a National Institute for Environmental Study taking one-ton bags of radiation and trying to make you believe that it's safe. That's what they're doing. The very opposite of their moniker. Also in the Ibaragi Prefecture, which is a nuclear wasteland, a National Environmental Research Training Institute. Again, all these institutes... Their job is to manipulate you and deceive you. They have n it's horrifying that these people actually exist on our planet yet are in positions of authority. They're, they're incredible degenerate scum, right? That's, that's all these people. They're, they're the scum of the earth, the worst of the worst. 
and he got the job because their parents were scumbags like their parents. All three sites are managed by the Scum Degenerate Environmental Ministry, and officials, disgusting officials, believe the consent of the local residents is not needed to proceed with their plan. Well, of course it's not. Scum don't ask permission for anything. I can't believe Japan, the people of Japan, haven't got together and exterminated these people. I, I find that amazing myself. Consent to the local residents is not needed to proceed. You're talking about one-ton bags, millions of them, full of radiation. And the population who pays for everything has no say in it. Just a handful of scumbags are going to make the decision. The unpopularity of the plan is understandable. Really? You never know it, but I already go, would I? A proposal to reuse soil in two municipalities in the Fukushima prefecture went nowhere after local residents raised strong opposition. They should have just hung the people that were suggesting it. Grab them, hang them right on the spot. That's the, that's, that would have been the right thing to do, unfortunately. And think about that statement. Because if you don't do it, they're going to murder you and your loved ones. They're going to send children back two kilometers from ongoing multiple nuclear meltdowns so the disgusting nuclear industry can pretend it's got some human attributes. And how can people sit in silence? How does the world sit in silence? How does that actually work? Well, the only voices out there have to be censored until they don't even exist, right? Only soil decontaminated levels below 8,000 becquels per kilogram. 8,000 becquels per kilogram, by the way, is half a million becquels a square meter. Half a million atoms, anthropogenic man-made deadly atoms per square meter. I can barely contain my own anger. In fact, I can't. I'm tired of people sitting in silence on top of that tired of people in more than capable staying silent. I can't understand it. I can't wrap my mind around it. The plan for Tokyo calls for reusing the soil in the flower bed. The National Garden would be off limit to the public. Well, why bring it there? <clears throat> By the way, that wasn't the original plan, was it? The plastic sheet were placed in the hole, and then the runoff, the runoff water will be released into the sewage system. They're only going to check for cesium. They have never, under any circumstances, checked for curium and plutonium, or americium, which quickly delays the decays to plutonium. Because notification of the scheduled meeting was given at the last minute, there was no opposition. Only 28 people showed up because notification of the meeting was given at the last couple of minutes. The environmental ministry. These are not environmental ministries. These are some weird species that should be exterminated a long time ago so we didn't get to this stage of de-evolution, shouldn't we? 50 years ago, they would have been killed on sight. And everybody would have plotted it. And no jury would ever convict the people that done it. And in fact, probably neither one would do it today if the truth comes out. project was completely in the hands of the central government. Makes it too difficult to understand. Every facet of the story is humiliating. There is no such thing as a good pro-nuclear. There is no such thing. 
Go back to 2021, not a single prefecture back to reuse radioactive soil. Akuma's on one side, Futaba is on the other side, both within a couple of kilometers ongoing multiple nuclear meltdowns will go on for a thousand years. And Okuma, they actually dumped over half a million one-ton bags and are grown food in, in an evacuated no-go zone on top of that, within eyesight of multiple ongoing nuclear meltdowns. If you don't if that's not the kookiest batshit lunatic thing in history, what is? How the hell do we ever get to that? The IAE should be stuffed in these bags and disposed of too. The central government plans to use 80% of the soil stored there after concluding it was unrealistic to expect to dispose of all the radioactive fallout. Unrealistic. 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 Unrealistic to expect to dispose of the massive radioactive fallout. Unrealistic. It wasn't unrealistic to pick it all up, was it? Well, you didn't pick it all up. You only picked up a fraction of a percent, which is 30 million one-ton bags, which is five rows of traffic around the entire planet, bumper to bumper one-ton bag in the back of each truck. It is promoting the reuse of the relative. This is not low-level radioactive dirt for farmland development. The minute somebody says something like that, a hundred people are supposed to grab them, tear their arms and head right off their body and laugh about it and go out and have a party and celebrate it. That's sit in silence. How are you going to have a future by sitting in silence? How are you going to teach them to respect you by sitting in silence? How does that fucking work? Because it doesn't, I can guarantee you that. Evacuation order is to be lifted even before the radiation is purged. 2020. Think about how batshit, lunatic, crazy the industry actually is. I don't give a fuck about you. That's why you should tear their heads off the minute you lay his eyes on them. And I mean it. Tear their head right off their bodies. So the next one don't open their pie hole as quick. <coughs> I always get a little rousy after I shave. It's funny how that works, isn't it? If the troop was out there, there'd be a million, well, a billion people just like me, but a lot more vicious, screaming all day, every day, what we should do to the nuclear industry and doing it, probably. Despite strong public opposition to the Polish Environmental Ministry, will soon start a trial demonstration to confirm the safety of growing food crop in soil decontaminated following the nuclear meltdown. This is not decontaminated soil. This is soil that is radioactive that they picked up and call that decontamination. But if you switch the words around, that's what you end up with, what they wrote there, right? The district is designated as a difficult to return zone where radiation levels remain high. So you got a no-go zone because it's too radioactive. You're going to take in one ton bags of radiation, dump it, and grow food in it for, for sale. That's normal. That's the nuclear industry. They don't give a fuck about anything. They don't even care about themselves. They couldn't care less about themselves. You know, the interesting thing about the nuclear industry is uh, they don't throw birthday parties, for instance. They don't. They don't celebrate little things like that. They they don't have those types of emotions. They don't get together on the weekend and have barbecues. They don't. They don't have like a coffee room at these places where they hang out because they hate each other's guts like they hate yours.
Why would you want an industry like that? I can barely contain my content. <laughs> Actually, I can't. Calling it a triple, triple meltdown? I showed you the pictures earlier. It's absurd to call it a triple meltdown. There was also eight reactor core fuel pools. Each fuel pool had around 5 million pounds into it. Minimum. Eight of them are also missing. This is uh, the Neptunian 239 dispersion. I think uh, after 22 days or something, it switches to plutonium 239, the decay, with like a 24 million year half life. I'm sorry, 24,000 year half life. The Neptunian 239. It's the same thing with the Admiracium 239, will decay to plutonium too. That's TEPCO's model, numbers put into a model, covers the whole planet within about 16 days. And the numbers are just a fraction of the real numbers. A fraction of a percent on top of that. The ministry, the degenerate, coward, traitor ministry, initially planned to revise the related ordinance in April to enable the soil to be reuse saying it obtained results to show the soil was safe enough to be used for growing crops in a nuclear no-go zone on top of that like it it none of this seems real none of it none of it should be possible not nothing that i'm showing you tonight should be conceivable let alone possible none of what i'm showing you should be even talked about let alone Joked about, let alone actual real. Nothing. The whole world's out there, one thumb in his mouth, the other one up his butt, pretending that life is good and it has no concept of how wrong they actually are. Decontaminated soil is currently stored at interim storage facilities in Okuma and Futabar. Futabar was the first story where they're moving kids back in April. The nuclear wasteland has been evacuated for 12 years. They're bringing in the radioactive soil in there, and now they're going to bring kids in there to live in order to pretend the nuclear industry uh, make it look good. If that, if that doesn't make you angry, what actually will, I wonder? If that doesn't make you upset and terrified, what actually does? What they're doing makes every Hollywood horror show look like a look ridiculous there is not a single horror story on the planet comes close to what they're doing in real life the total amount of such uh, soil stored at the facilities the Okuma and Futabar around 40 million cubic meters I apologize for giving a fuck, actually. Let me, let me show you another one. Maybe that'll help you understand it. 2021. Little result from decontamination efforts in nearly 12,900 sites. That's 2% of the sites that were cleaned. 2% of the 560,000 sites that they cleaned, which is only 3% of the land right? That's all they tried to, and they can't clean it. They just picked up a couple of inches of the topsoil. You know, the homeless and the destitute and the victims of society, the immigrants who don't speak the language. No academic has ever went there. 561,000 locations they cleaned up. And 12,900 had no change in the numbers. Now, when they clean up, like we've covered this for 12 years, when they allegedly clean up, they take a reading only for gamma, no alphas, no betas, no neutrons, no x-rays, because, you know, why put that into the equation? 
I put reality into the equation. Like when you look at Fukushima, it gives you the right, you know, the, that's the evidence that every nuclear institution should be closed and burnt to the ground, preferably with nuclear scientists and nuclear academics, but definitely burnt to the ground and banned forever on this planet. It's a self-centered, genocidal industry. It's a death cult. It's a hateful, despicable, brutal, mass genocidal machine that is exterminating all the species as we speak. It's called radioactive folly. And perpetual liars and your fucking media on this planet should be stuffed in the buildings before you blow, burn it down too. You have no, no right to sit in silence on this planet. Little 560,000 sites, you're talking hundreds of kilometers away from the meltdowns. So they're going to move children there in April within two kilometers. I can barely contain my contempt. Five hundred and sixty-one thousand locations that they they went in and picked up one ton bags. It's somewhere between thirty million and sixty million one ton bags. <clears throat> it feels good to get the fire back into the veins again. <laughs> Long time coming. Been pretty sick for a year, right? I got a long way to go. I'm on the men now. We had uh, surgery. Got seven stints put in to the heart valves. Got lots of oxygen flowing there now, baby. <laughs> Hang on. This was a clip that came out about six months ago on uh, was South Korea media. There's about 60 million tons of contaminated. 60 million tons. One more time. Of, there's about 60 million tons of contaminated soil that's being stored, planned to be stored, outside the Fukushima Daiichi perimeter fence. It's an interesting way to phrase it outside the, the nuclear meltdown fence. It just wasn't picked up. 60 million one-ton bags is picked up all over Fukushima Prefecture, not the Fukushima plant. Fukushima plant is different. So 60 million one-ton bags, one-ton bag in the back of a one-ton pickup truck, 2,200 pounds in the back of a one-ton pickup truck. It's maximum it can carry, right? Bumper to bumper is 10 rows of traffic around the planet which is just a fraction of the land mass where they picked up a couple of inches of topsoil long years and years and years later. In other words, it's about 2% of the fallout just in those districts that they actually managed to pick up. And the idea, like the tanks, was to make you complacent, to make you stupid. It was very successful for the majority of the population, obviously not the people that are paying attention to these shows. We got a poll tonight. Is pro nuclear degenerate monstrous scum the opposite of being a human? Gee, I don't know. What do you think, Dana? <laughs> Yeah, cheaper just to cover it all up, yeah? Yeah, it's easy, too. All you got to do is censor people like me or Kevin Blanche and the people that are... the A couple of handfuls of people that are paying attention. 
But at some point, see the story, you can't hide that story. It's, you wiped out the species around the world. You can't hide the story forever. And the anger is going to be that much more intense when it finally shows up. We're trying, we're, tr we're doing our best to get it out there. Nothing better, I like, there's nothing better than watching the world wake up and try to gut every nuclear academic on the planet. There's nothing would give me more joy, more pleasure, than watching every nuclear academic on the planet try to get away to Mars. And they know what they're doing. They're, they're not lying because they're bored. They're lying because that's what they are from birth. They are scum. So 2.2% of the sites where work was carried out, where one-ton bags were picked up. 560,000 places. Workers are instructed to measure the radiation doses at the site right after decontamination work is completed. In fact, what they were doing, where the where they're making the measurements, they would clean everything up, bring in topsoil, and then measure it close to the topsoil, clean topsoil they brought in. The next day, the numbers would be up right where they left off. So, like all the sites would have returned to the original numbers within 24, 48 hours. And this is within a difficult to return zones on top of that. Canada's uh, got a big push for a couple of days. Got to put up with the headlines. Canadian government launches small modular reactor support program. Canadian government. Well, the nuclear industry captured Canada in the 70s. What the reactors, the Kandu reactors in Canada, I've done a whole two and a half hour presentation on it a couple of months ago. It was worth watching if you haven't seen it. Canada Canada's disgusting. You know that after the nuclear meltdowns in Japan, for instance, fifty five countries banned the food in fourteen prefectures, not just Fukushima, but not Canada. Canada removed all restrictions after ninety three days. So Japan couldn't ship the food anywhere on Canada. And they did. And they never stopped growing it in the nuclear wasteland. That on its own is, is a legitimate reason to execute legally, burn every nuclear academic and scientist at the stakes legally, of course. It'd be easy to change the law if we, if we had a real debate about it. The whole world would be, yeah, yeah, burn them at the stake. I like it. Let's get back to that one. In the future, the word nuclear will be banned, I guarantee it to you. So the Canadian government is throwing piddle lints at the small modular reactor that don't exist. It's strictly about looting the country. It's nothing to do with small modular reactors, just another way to loot the country, see? Look at that useless slot right there. A lousy one, $21 million is U.S. Of, why put it in U.S.? A funding, well, this is the world nuclear news for starters, the scum of the scum. Over four years to develop a supply chain for small modular reactor manufacturing and fuel supply, which is the only fuel supply is Russia, and security. Why do you need security? I thought these things were harmless. And to fund research on safe, I thought they were harmless, safe, Small modular reactor waste management. First off, they're going to use mixed oxide fuel. You can't make that safe. You can't even make the fuel you got on the planet safe. And again, this is the world nuclear news. They will never put their name on a story. This is a lobbying group, but they will never put their name on a story. They don't want their children and their family to find out what they're actually like, right? But you should hear what they say about you. You should hear about the contempt that they have for you. Enabling Small Modular Re Reactor Program was launched at the Canadian Nuclear Association on the 23rd and 24th. <clears throat> I missed that, by the way. I didn't know that was happening. They didn't report on it until after my last show. It was launched at the Canadian Nuclear Association. Bruce County Mayor was invited, by the way for the 
nuclear waste management organization funded it. 18 years sitting on $28 billion and haven't done a single thing on a cause devoid. The world, is, world will look for you, scum, in the near future. Parliamentary Secretary to the Ministry of Natural Resources and to the Ministry of Environment and Climate Change, which was, right, that was created, uh, the climate change facet of countries was created by UN to screw you over forever and ever. UN is humanity's biggest enemy. Growing Canada's clean energy industries is what is vital as the country's advances towards a net zero. Net zero is Miles Allen paper, who now works at Cambridge University in the United Kingdom, cushy job, right? And so he seized up on that paper and then called it real and called nuclear the solution when nuclear is the actual problem. And applicants on an enabling small modular reactor program can request up to 5 million Canadian for projects. And they get up to 100% for projects led by indigenous applicants. <clears throat> because the indigenous community has been manipulated and brainwashed for so long, right? That's why they do stuff like that. And nobody's allowed to argue with the indigenous community. The average funding for a project is expected to be between half a million and 2.5 million, depending on the size, scope. And they got almost a billion dollars to throw into the communities. To, right? And every one of them will attack me viciously. Right? Th those are the very people, right, in order to get their hands on all that free money, will kill everybody in Canada. Like, you have to be a uh, degenerate to get a job in the industry. You have to be a 100% monster to get a job in the nuclear industry. Because you, you have to be literally a monster to take a job in the nuclear industry. And you've got a great education, too, right? So, so you know better, see? You can't say they don't know any difference because you have this amazing education. It's impossible for them to know that it's evil. The Canadian Infrastructure Bank was committed 970 million Canadian in financing. The Canadian Infrastructure Bank, Canadian Infrastructure Bank, created to throw money at the nuclear industry. By the nuclear industry. Peabody is heading to the Canadian Nuclear Association from Bruce Power, or Bruce County. He's attending the annual conference of the Canadian Nuclear Association in Ottawa, in Ottawa, February 22nd to 24th. They own most of Ottawa, the nuclear industry. The Canadian Nuclear Association is, is hideous, absurd monsters. Well, there's not a single human at the Canadian Nuclear Association. We've covered them for years and years and years. Not one human there. He said last year his focus at the conference was attracting nuclear suppliers to the area. Nuclear suppliers for uh, industry that don't exist. And this is just a way of looting the system, right? A billion dollars is nothing to the nuclear industry. It's irrelevant. It's enough to build up a little bit of hype, right? Bring in some speculative corporations that are pro-nuclear anyway, give them money to stay alive. That's all this is. This is, a, this is welfare. It's a handout to the nuclear industry that already exists. So you're going to see this week a lot of small modular reactors uh, news because there's that push. That push you, the, the push usually lasts no more than three or four cycles, three or four days, and then it goes disappears for a couple of months again. So basically, right, there's out to grab money for three or four days and build a, a fake hype. And once they got the money, then they're just going to shut up and loot it. It's what they've been doing for 80 years. The world, China, daily, China knows better. 
China knows the tanks are empty. China knows the tanks were built at the one time, 2013, to trick people into thinking nothing went into the ocean. China's not stupid. China's part of the problem, same as South Korea and Taiwan. I made sure they know better. I've been at this for years and years and years. There's no way they don't know the difference. It's an interesting picture because you can actually see reactor f uh, five and six. Now remember, a reactor six was uh, pixelated. So was the pump house in front of it and the stack behind it. And the footage that got released on the 10th anniversary. 736 pictures. We've done a uh, whole presentation on it. It's in my playlist. The redacted reactor 1, 2, 3, and 4, and the common spent fuel pool, all of it. And all the pictures from a drone. A very high quality pictures. And when we zoomed in, here were all the reactor meltdowns were redacted. So why did they release that 10 years later? Here, I'll bring up some examples for you. Hopefully. I'm still a bit rusty, right? I'm burnt out. I've been at this so long. I'm, not, I'm just, I'm recovering, right, from multiple heart attacks. And uh, basically, I need rest. I need to be just left alone for a month and just sleep every... Like, I fall asleep four times a day, for God's sakes. I don't want no stress in my life, but how do you get away from the stress when you're talking about nuclear? Uh, behind, up there, you're looking at uh, transport truck containers. This is the common spent fuel pool. Why is it redacted? When I zoomed in on it from the drone shots, I was... That's, that's it up there, but this is uh, reactor four. It was right in front of it, right on the seaside. At 6,375 spent fuel assemblies, each assembly is 1,800 pounds. It actually it doubled that, right? Because you don't have a repository anywhere, let alone in Japan. So Fukushima radioactive in inventory was 30 to 40 times as high as Chernobyl. That Well, that, well it's way worse than that. That's each reactor, not counting the fuel pools, double fuel pools that were at the top of each building that were destroyed. What, but why is the common spent fuel pool completely redacted? That's an absurdly important question. Once you look at nuclear, it's pretty hard to absolutely despise everybody in the industry. It's impossible. It's impossible not to have endless contempt for everybody in the nuclear industry. <coughs> Bear with me. Seeing as we're here, let me look for reactor five and six. Uh, we're getting close. We're closer. There we go. Let's just show some of them pictures too, as soon as we're here. So why is the common spent fuel pool redacted? So as you head towards reactor five and six in the center of the top screen up there. This was the dry storage. The, the tsunami went right through that place, by the way. And look at the damage to the tanks. So imagine how bad the common spent, or the dry cast. Imagine how many of them got washed out into the ocean. So I'm in the top center. We're getting to it. When I was zooming in on it, because this is zoomed in shots, I was saying, my goodness, that's redacted. Why, why did they redact reactor 6, not reactor 5, but reactor 6, and the pump house 
and the stack. The, the skinny stacks are used to vent the uh, fuel pool emissions. Fuel pools are still split in the atoms, for those who are not aware. So the reactor makes power for a million homes by splitting atoms. It doesn't stop when you take the fuel out and put it in a pool. It boils off about 120,000 liters a day. Each liter has got trillions and trillions and trillions or worse atoms. The Kandu reactors in Canada legally are allowed to release 34,000 million uh, billion atoms a year. 34,000 million billion atoms a year. Of just uh, tritium, by the way. And where do you release it is right alongside the intake water for Ottawa and Ontario. They're right alongside of each other, just a couple hundred feet away. A lot is released airborne too, by the way. Now this, this industry, the longer it exists, the more evil it has become. And now it's a threat to all species. You have to deal with it. You can't pretend it's not happening anymore. TEPCO, which is nationalized, by the way, which is a, it is not a decommissioned authority. It don't build reactors either. It's the last one that should be in charge. The reason TEPCO is in charge, per se, is because you don't, that way you're not blaming the nuclear industry, see? It's the ultimate betrayal to use the word TEPCO. Claims the tanks, which it collecting nuclear contaminated water, we could fill up by 2022. And then necessary now to dump it into the ocean. Well, why fill it up if you're going to dump it into the ocean? The tanks were all built in 2013. A thousand tanks in 2013, a thousand tanks in 2023. If you fill up the tanks with the actual numbers, the tanks are around one point. 4 million sieverts of gamma, not counting alphas, betas, and neutrons, and, and x-rays, but just, I'm sorry, beta. Not counting gamma, alphas, neutrons, and x-rays. Why wouldn't we include them? Because the industry is fucking nuts. It's unbelievably evil. It's an unbelievable coward. The people in the nuclear industry are cowards. They're hideous, monstrous cowards. They're revolting, sadistic cowards. Mass murdering cowards. Genocidal, omnicidal cowards. The tanks are empty. They were built to manipulate you and deceive you and coerce you. The Japanese Nuclear Regulation Authority, which was created after the meltdown, I might add, and claiming it's a highly independent agency. So whoever wrote that article, I would, if I was healthy, I wouldn't hesitate to kick the shit out of him the minute I seen him. I'd beat him unconscious the minute I laid eyes on him. Because your life is more important than them fuckers' lives. Your children's lives are more important than their fucking pieces of shit lives. Your loved ones, your, your pets, the insects on this planet are trillions and trillions and trillions of times more important than these fucking degenerate scum. <laughs> That's not an opinion either, by the way. That's not a conjecture. Conjecture. The Japanese non-regulatory authority, a highly controlled agency... Call it a highly independent agency. They can't write anything out with being scumbags. They can't write a single story without a full of disinformation. It can't be done. And they thrive in it. And they know it's lies. They know it's deceit. And they know it's dishonest. Approved TEPCO's plan. TEPCO doesn't, is not supposed to exist. Why is TEPCO in charge of exterminating the planet? How did a corporation that has nothing to do with decommissioning 
why not put the people who built it in charge? Why would you put a corporation who's trying to make a profit in charge? That's what they've done with Three Mile Island, Santa Susana, and Chernobyl, by the way. You have every right to exterminate them because they're going to exterminate you. Officially passed after soliciting public opinion. The seemingly legal procedures do not make Japan's move legitimate. On the contrary, if the nuclear wastewater is safe after processing as it claims, why can't Japan find a use for it? Well, they've used some of it to build bridges, they say, to mix the cement. Its leader made apologetic gestures, but don't want to prevent more damage from being done. Listen, there is no such thing as a leader. There is just scum. They're the worst of the humanities ever come across these people. Maybe the countries and regions that are going to be... It's not illegal to poison you and kill the planet, by the way. They made sure of that. Think about that statement. It's not illegal to poison you. The, the parliaments and the governments don't have the authority to make it illegal. Only the non-regulatory agencies have that authority. That doesn't frighten the shit out of you. What actually does, I wonder? Maybe the countries and regions that are going to be affected should sue Japan in international court. The whole world should get on a boat, head to Japan, and exterminate everybody in the nuclear industry first. Colorful folk dance dedicated to a shrine. This is uh, the rice harvest in the nuclear wasteland itself. And... They brought back the dance that shouldn't exist. They shouldn't be harvesting food in a nuclear wasteland and using children to manipulate your emotions, using children to deceive you and coerce you into complacency. It's unbelievably insidious there is no redeeming qualities in the nuclear industry. I can't stress it enough. The rice planting dance returns uh, was cancelled in 2021. The coronavirus was created as the cover story for Fukushima poisoning of every species, every human on the planet. Participated in the event for the Fukushima prefectural city of Minamasoma. Minimasoma, you're talking about 20 million beckles a kilogram of fallout of just gamma. You got to multiply it by 64 to get a square meter. Sending children into Minimasoma, anybody who does that should have their head taken off right away. Women dedicate rice planting dance to the shrine in Fukushima, and they got to put in the word COVID like scum would do. It's impossible not to hate their guts once you understand what's going on. It's impossible not to be upset. That's why they censor me so much. It's, it's impossible to work in the nuclear industry and be a human. It's impossible to work in the nuclear industry and not be a degenerate scumbag. It's impossible. You won't exist. You won't get the job. Say I hate this industry is an understatement. I fear the industry is going to exterminate everything. And not from an opinion, but from facts. Japan, now we covered this before, but we'll cover it again because it's absurd. Japan slammed for loosening test standards on Fukushima radioactive water. They're not testing the water. The water is already dumped into the ocean. <clears throat> Let me explain that to you. Because <sighs> it's very, very important. So there's many of these models. This is France's model, 16-day model 
only based on venting, by the way, of radioactive fault. It's not based on the actual meltdowns, so it's much worse than what you're looking at. When the model stops, that's 16 days. It covers the whole planet. Do you really think the ocean... You really think the ocean is not poisoned? Because you're pretty freaking gullible if you think the ocean is not poisoned. I mean, why are they wearing gloves if the water is filtered? They're only checking for cesium and strontium, they claimed. Tokyo Electric Power Company, that's not supposed to exist, has no right to be in that position on top of that. They're not a decommissioned authority. A bottle of radioactive water that has been filtered by the ELPS system. Again, I find that really, really offensive to suggest that the ELPS system actually works. <clears throat> so the Riva system, this first off the Siri system didn't work, which is supposed to filter cesium, which is the big lie anyway. In 2014, August the 12th, it was reported that the system, the Riva system, which is France's, same as the Alps uh, filtration system, didn't work. That's three years later, over three and a half years later. In April of 2014, it was reported that the Alps system didn't work. It never did. It can't work. You can't filter s physical atoms from water. It can't be done. Like you put two million atoms in the head of a needle, but you can't see it. Do you really think you can filter that? Anybody actually that stupid that thinks they can filter that? Is there really? If there is, give me a call. I want to hear someone stupid for a change. 709-589-4406. If you're that stupid, I want to hear your argument. I love to hear it. I'm dying to hear somebody stupid on this subject. While we're waiting for someone stupid to call in, let's put up the poll. We got a poll. Is scum degenerate monsters pro nuclear the opposite of being a human? And we got a couple of people that were actually monsters came in and voted no. No, I'm not a monster. I'm a good person, Dana. You shut your mouth, you piece of shit. TEPCO, the utility which operated the plant. So when your car breaks, you go and buy a $50,000 car, the car breaks, should you be responsible to fix it? Then why is TEPCO, who don't make reactors, responsible? Why is TEPCO? So you don't blame the nuclear industry for what it should be blamed for. What it's been doing now for 80 years. At what point are you going to say, fuck it, I had enough. I'm not going to sit in silence anymore. Because I, I was like that right away on day one. Utility which operated the Fukushima plant promised to treat all contaminated water. A goal is meaning it will not be realized in 2014. And they magically got it all done. Like if you try to, if you could filter it, the filter is so radioactive after 20 minutes, you can't get back in the building. This is not like oil filter where it's harmless. This is your type of gamma shines, x rays, neutron bursts. If you filter it and gather it up, after a few hours, you're talking about thousands and thousands of sieverts. Three sieverts is a lethal dose behind one foot of steel. The walls of the filters would have to be six feet of lead. But when you're talking about these numbers, that won't even protect you. The, brown, the 
groundwater bypass operation didn't work. Uh, they were going to build a fence to stop radiation from going in the Pacific. A fence. A fence. You can't build a fence to stop radiation. It's it's such an offensive statement. You're going to build an ice wall. Why wouldn't you build a real wall? Why 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 would the words ice wall ever come into existence? Because the tax is experimental, so the taxpayer had to pay for that. And then the numbers were, they said 260,000 people worked on this ice wall. First off, why didn't you build a real wall? 260,000 people worked on the wall, but the money allocated uh, worked out to $1,100 per person if you don't build a wall. Why would you build a nice wall when you can build a real wall? You're being fucked every step of the way. It's, it's, it's time to fight back. It's, they're exterminating you. You should be doing the same thing to them. A 6.1 quake hit Aikido. No tsunami warnings were issued. This was off the coast. There's only one media reported how far it was off the coast and how deep it was in the same story. So a 6.1 on the Jap a five a lower five on Japan's seismic intensity scale of seven. Because you got to take ten divided by seven, you get one point four two eight. Then multiply that by five point four to get the actual numbers. Is a seven point seven earthquake. So about 35 miles off the coastline, right, in Kashio, uh, when I looked up stories on that and stories on Nauru, which is just up the coast, I said this is about 35 miles off the coast and about 35 miles deep. This is a really shallow earthquake and it's a big one. But it's done no damage to any of these communities. Well, we don't know because they stopped reporting on it after the first couple of hours. But there was a shitload of stories which tells you what's really going on, right? This was felt, I'll show you, all the way to Tokyo. And at Quito Island, I'm going to show you an earthquake they had in 2018 in a little bit. All these stories were showing up. I was catching it. I caught it within the first hour before the first hour was up. So I was tracking it. And after a couple of hours, he stopped reporting on it. And all the reports done was covered the exact same story over and over and over for the first couple of hours. Which is worrisome. At a depth of 60 kilometers. And you notice the latitude and longitude? This is something new we, we never seen before until about four years ago. So why wouldn't you say it's 60 kilometers off the coastline of the city like they always done before and 60 kilometers deep? Instead, they'll tell you how deep it is, but they won't tell you how far off the coastline it is. They'll give you a latitude and longitude if you're lucky. That's very rare. So all kinds of media is reporting on it. And this was the only story that said how far it was off Kashiro. It was 61 kilometers east. That was extraordinary because it's pretty rare for them to tell you how far off the coastline. If you're really, really lucky, you'll find a story that will give you a latitude and longitude. It's 37 miles off the coastline and it's about 37 miles deep. You got different variations. That one's 42. A 6.1 uh, is a lower five in Japan's seismic intensity scale of seven, which Taiwan also uses, by the way, because they got nuclear powers. You can see now the earthquake was there, so it should have been a lot more fives close to it, not far away from it. So how do you get number a four earthquake 
And on the other side of four, it's a five, a lower five. How does that actually work? Here it is showing an earthquake is all the way to Tokyo. So then how do you get a four before a five? Because you can't. So you got all these communities and all these prefectures and he, and he listed the names and the numbers like a five, a four, the blue is a three. Which is unusual to see that kind of detail by the way. Fukushima Prefecture. Look at all the communities in Fukushima Prefecture that were shaken. But this is far away. When you get an earthquake right by Fukushima Prefecture, none of these communities are affected. It's only like, if you have an earthquake off Fukushima, Tokyo shakes 250 kilometers away, not Fukushima. No, your, your media is despicable. No matter how you look at it, your media is just absolutely despicable worldwide. New nuclear power must pass to Chindian test, which this is an Indian author. And every time you read India pro-nuclear, this scumbags Joseph Lasseter, Lasseter, or whatever the hell it is, he taught environmental management at Harvard Business School, a.k.a. Monster, right? We should try to change radiophobia now. Like, people like him should be arrested and put in jail for a couple of thousand years. Radiation was not a disaster at Fukushima per se. Human reaction brought on much of the difficulties, he says. He'd be, he wouldn't have a hair left on his head of a cotton. I'd pull every hair out of his fucking head of every cotton. I'm not going to go down that story. It just roils me up. Makes me angry. He won't like me when I'm angry. Look at this bitch here who wrote the article. Piece of shit. Meriton base maker radiation detectors continue to grow. Oh, they're exp they're hiring. Um, just a hundred new employees, two hundred new employees, or something. For radiation detector, they hired fifty in the last twelve months, and expecting, and they got three hundred working at their plant making radiation detectors. Don't buy anything from this lot, folks. The best radiation detectors to buy are pre-Fukushima. Don't invest in a company like that. Academic speaks out against Japan's wastewater plan. Yeah. <laughs> Every time we hear words like that, it's always a scumbag. It's impossible to believe in anybody anymore in the nuclear industry. A leading Pacific voice in academia is speaking out against Japan's plan. They already dumped it, moron. Like you're, 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 this, this is absurd, this story, for the last six, seven years, claiming that everything is in the tanks. When the evidence, we got the endless amount of evidence, <laughs> showing you how bad Japan is I'm not going to go through the whole story. Security footage shows shocking treatment of a Sri Lankan who died in Nagoya, Nagoya detention cell. What they'd done to her was hideous. The police. They're the furthest thing from the police. They, they could all easily get jobs in the nuclear industry. They just literally murdered her, and he showed her no mercy, not a, not a speck of mercy, not an inch of mercy, the worst possible death. I was going to bring in... <coughs> I was going to bring in the uh, Hokkaido earthquake from 2018, to give you context, I forgot to do it. Just bear with me. 
because that's worth seeing if you're not familiar with it. In fact, that's amazing what I'm going to show you. Fucking disgusting nuclear industry. Bear with me. Yeah, now he says scumbag quite like nuclear, does it? There is not there no serial killer compares to the nuclear industry. There really isn't. All serial killers combined don't compare to a single nuclear scientist. Okay, here we go. I'm going to show you something that is absolutely amazing. Uh, 2018 Hokkaido Earth uh, Eastern Ibui earthquake. I'll put it on the big screen to make it a bit more tangible for you. Registered a 6.7 and uh, on a maximum intensity scale of 7 which is a 9.5 on the international scale. Uh, there was 130 aftershocks. So there's a Tamari nuclear power plant. With the Tamari nuclear power plant, you can see right there. The X is the Tamari, or where the earthquake happens. So let me get out of the way. There's some scales behind me. So this earthquake, it jacked the streets, dropped them. Catastrophic. The landslides is hard to appreciate. So that's a close shot. Now here's a far away shot. As far as you can see, it dropped the mountains on all sides. Have you ever, ever in history seen something like that? Have you ever seen a picture where all the mountains had fell because of an earthquake before? So they covered up the earthquake, see? Four million people lost power. But the payloads and all the mountains were dropped. And so when you get up close to it, that's a real landslide. The roads were torn apart. They buried the story and called it a 6.7, it wasn't even called, a 6.6, .6. but it dropped the payloads on all the mountains. They, they covered that up because there was a nuclear power plant not that far away. They actually covered it up. And you probably will never, you probably never would have known about this or see this unless you were here watching some of my shows where I, I showed that. And these pictures did come from the media, but you got to remember there was a flood of other medias that they weren't covering these pictures. This was just a couple of sites that covered these pictures. I couldn't believe it when I seen it. I was like, my God. I started investigating it and. I was just absolute horror. They had a 9.6, 9.7 earthquake. They hit it because they wanted to restart the nuclear industry in Japan. That's the definition of evil, see? Drop the payloads on all the mountains, on both sides, triple sides, quadruple sides. Science and science doesn't exist in nuclear. The discharge again, right? The media is only running stories that go along with TEPCO, the Japanese, aka the Japanese government's version. The, there is no. The tanks are empty. They couldn't fill up the tanks because you have so many earthquakes. And you can see what an earthquake in Japan can do, right? If you fill up the tanks, for starters, you have an earthquake, you, you have to leave the site and you can never come back. The tanks were only built to trick you into thinking they didn't poison the Pacific Ocean. The 
Chernobyl nuclear power plant disaster and its long-lasting effects. That's the interesting thing about nuclear. Don't expect to hear the truth ever. In fact, he called Chernobyl the world's worst nuclear disaster. That's part of the cover-up. And they all do it. Every single media on the entire planet will do that to you. Oh, my goodness. I let my tea get cold on me. That'll teach me. Hi, everybody. I'm not even going to try to get in. I don't know if I... Maybe I'll go down the road a little tiny bit here. Spread dangerous radioactive elements throughout the atmosphere in Central and Eastern European countries. They actually done sex ratio studies on Europe. And so Chernobyl, first off, they closed 9,400 farms in Ireland, Scotland, and United Kingdom. In this story, they'll talk about a 30-mile exclusion zone, but you should have abandoned the United Kingdom, see? So Central and Eastern European countries, it, all of Europe, they've done sex ratio studies. Now, the reason they do ra uh, sex ratio studies is where you see for uh, discrepancies in males to females. If there's more males than females then that's evidence the entire population was affected by poison, in this case, radiation. And, and when you, this is going to be true for the animal kingdom, insect kingdom too, it can't just be for humans. So the proof, the fact that they've done sex ratio studies on Europe and suggested that Europe's sex ratio was changed because of Fukushima meant everybody in Europe was poisoned because that's the only way you can have that vast of a study. <coughs> They've done that many times and for many different applications, right? Uh, when they done nuclear atmospheric testing, the sexual ratio studies were done on the entire population of planet Earth, suggesting everybody on Earth was poisoned and caused more males than females to be born which means you have less population in the near future, but that's going to be true for all the species too. And just on that alone is more than enough evidence to quantify killing everybody in the nuclear industry jobs, destroying their future. It's, a, it's just a revolting industry. There's literally not a single good person in the entire nuclear industry, not one. I've never come across a good person in the nuclear industry in all these years. The disaster left areas surrounding the reactor, surrounding the reactor. I just despise people that write this kind of... I despise them with every, every fiber in my body, the people that lie like that. I absolutely, unequivocally despise every, every facet of them. I hate them from the very deepest part of my soul. I hate their guts with every part of my body. Because I've been doing this for so long, I can't take the lies anymore. I can't stand them. They're not human to me anymore. And they're not human to you, too, if you're honest. Construction management, another scumbag, Steve Reese. Nuclear waste disposal, the challenge over time. He's United Kingdom scumbag degenerate monster and and he's not trying to come up with a solution again right this is what they say is oh we're going to dig a big hole in the ground we'll put it all down there it's going to take a hundred years and it's going to be under the ocean typically so when it caves in the ocean floods into it there, there is no there don't seem to be any humans in the nuclear industry they're just real life monsters not actually trying to come up with solutions. The solution is always the worst concept imaginable. And they refuse to implement it. Oh, it'll take us 40 or 50 years to get it ready. 
Meanwhile, all this radiation is vented into your environment. All the fuel pools are hemorrhaging an absurd, sickening amount into your atmosphere all day, every day. And almost all nuclear power plants are surrounded by farms. Probably one of the most terrifying things conceivable is that almost every nuclear power plant is surrounded by farms. And every nuclear fuel pool is still splitting the same atoms they were for millions and millions and millions of homes. That's released into your environment looking for victims to infest and destroy. Chalk River National Laboratory, man. Every, every time we cover this subject, my blood boils. They're right on this, this river pours into the biggest aquifer in the Northern Hemisphere. Everything is on a slope, on a downhill slope. I'm trying to figure what that pile of dirt right there is. They're so secretive, it's really difficult to find out anything about the site. But I can guarantee you, whatever it is, is not good. Whatever it is, is absurdly evil, and it's downhill to the fresh water. The whole site is like that, by the way. It's a disaster. This is an environmental disaster site. And they, uh, they buried a reactor that melted down in 1955 on this site, they, what they call grouting it. Because of the Wigner effect, the grout is not going to be effective, right? And because of the cold that they have there, it will crack it wide open. But the, peop the, the people that work at Chalk River over the years, they're a despicable creatures, aren't they? We've covered them so many times. It's impossible to like anybody from this industry. So they're pairing up with a couple of universities to make the worst of the worst lethal materials to inject in your loved ones to finish them off when they show up sick. Family sues after a nuclear physicist's death in Virginia jail. It was a Robin Banks. Anybody shocked? He committed suicide in jail. <clears throat> I'm just going to keep my opinion to myself on that one because she knows what it is already, I'm sure. Canadian Dispatch. Canada was briefly a member of the Nuclear Scumbag Club. Again, because of the American nuclear industry, Canada was forced to <clears throat> put nuclear weapons in our, in our uh, land. Labrador was one of the places. Duke Energy has big plans for small modular reactors that don't exist. Right, they got to come out and swear allegiance to the small reactor community. Otherwise, they won't get any funding from the government. Uh, the reactors don't even exist on paper. It's just new scale, and that's incomplete application, right? It's, uh, I meant to liquidate and loot your economy, loot your future, and I come up with real solutions like geothermal, which they won't even acknowledge exists for the most part. Safety and longevity of nuclear waste disposal near Carlsbad debate amid permit renewal. Uh, like they had a meltdown in 2014 of transuranic waste like radioactive gloves and radioactive hammers, can't melt down. So what the frig was it? And he'd covered it up and claimed it was kitty litter, caused it. Of course, trying to get the truth out of the nuclear industry is, is impossible. Their entire legacy predicated upon constant deceit and lies and deception. There's no checks and balances. They're doing everything they can to exterminate every species on the planet, and they're winning. There's no legitimate resistance. There's just a hand, less than a handful of people worldwide that are legitimately. Kevin Blanche uh, is the only one, you know, there's a couple, right? But uh, they're not gone to war like us. 
I'm definitely going to war. I haven't gone to war a very long time against this disgusting industry. Long before Fukushima. I have lost no passion in that time either. That's the interesting thing about the truth, right? When you only deal with the truth, you, you can't lose your passion, see? Safety longevity. Uh, Carl, Carl, every facet of the Carl's bed, like the meltdown they claim was a truck fire. The, and when he showed pictures, it was a back t uh, front tire caught fire. And he evacuated 55 football field size caverns because of a truck fire for 10 days. Right? That was started on Halloween or Valentine's Day 2014. Ten days later, they couldn't go down because all of a sudden now they had a nuclear uh, radiation detection. Then they spent six billion dollars, six billion dollars over the next couple of years, clean up a truck fire. <clears throat> the industry is disgusting, and they're they're propped up by the military-industrial complex who needs them to make their weapons. See. And so there's no rationale. When it comes to the military-industrial complex, there's zero rationale allowed into the equation. And every facet is based up on deceit on top of that. Nuclear's not happening until we straighten this shit out. This was a hot air site, and they're disgusting on top of that. Again, a manipulated story. Former router science reporter for 35 years said the media is lying about CO2 in a climate crisis. He defected finally from the scumbag nuclear industry. So you got all these uh, vulnerable people brainwashed into protesting CO2, and they can't exist without CO2. Nuclear sewage, again, right? This is not sewage. This is water poured over the reactor core that they're going to dump. There is no sea urchins left at the low tide and, tides and above in the Atlantic or the Pacific. They were wiped out. We've done the research expeditions. The World Health Organization updates medicine list for nuclear emergencies. That's where we left off the last time, I think, you know? Yeah. We take it a load of this. We forgot to cover. Well, we didn't cover because I was pretty burnt out from the last one. Treat injuries caused by radiation. Well, you can't actually treat injuries caused by radiation. You kind of can chelate it a bit. Uh, emphasize the importance of having real supplies of crucial drugs developed over the last decade. Uh, I've read through everything. And as far as I can tell, they're full of shit. In radiation emergencies, people may be exposed to radiation at doses ranging from knowledgeable. There is no such thing as a knowledgeable dose. Once it's in your body, your body attacks it for the rest of your life with white blood cells. So that compromises your immune system right away forever. To life-threatening. Governments, which don't exist anymore, Need to make treatment available for those in need fast. Well, this is about the wealthy and, and the politicians. This is not about me or you. Fuck about me or you. It's the first time the publication has been updated since 2007. Well, the World Health Organization is United Nations. What the freak would you want to trust them for? Well, why are they allowed to speak and set policies in your country? How did, it, how did we ever get to that stupid place? The Degenerate World Health Organization stated its data, prepared an annual report, showed that many countries are unprepared for nuclear radiation emergencies. Of course they are. Why are you showing a picture of Fukushima for a scumbag? The temperate Perusian blue, I got quite a few studies on that. It barely works. They were using it on beagle dogs and beagle puppies after they infested, infected them with radiation. Dipta to treat internal contamination with transuranic, transuranium radionuclides. They're, so you're going to get radioactive nuclides in your body. They're going to treat it with radiation nuclides. Read it yourself. 
That's not batshit crazy. What actually is? DTPA to treat internal contamination from radiation with uranium radionucleides. Whoever wrote that should get the shit kicked out of them every day for the rest of their life. According to the Degenerate World Health Organization, a radiological or nuclear emergency is a situation that negatively impacts human life's health property and the environment. It, it, it does all of that. It does it forever, for millions and millions of years. A previous study showed that seven years after Fukushima, rates of diabetics increased considerably while restrictions implemented during the pandemic when people were encouraged to stay home could have, could have contributed to weight gain and mental disorders. Yeah, obesity rates doubled in Japan in two, by 2012, less than a year later, which is a marker of brain damage from radiation. So what they done there with that slick sentence was try to blame it on the pandemic. And mental disorders are notorious from radioactive fallout like schizophrenia, Alzheimer's, dementia, autism. All directly traced to radioactive fallout. Western uranium and vanadium have its sights set on becoming a global leader, low-cost production of uranium and a byproduct of vanadium. Of course, uh, this is madness. Why would you want more of this on our planet? State objects to Holtec request. Holtec has got more power than you can wrap your mind around, folks. Well, we take it a load of some of this. Oh, that's a little premature. Yank. New York State formally objected a series of exemptions. Exemptions that Holtec. The company decommissioning the disease factory known as Indian Point is seeking from the federal regulatory, is seeking exemptions from regulatory, and it complies and you can't be held accountable, in other words, concern aspects of the plant's emergency preparedness requirement, including staffing, evacuation plans, interaction with first responders, And insist that because the decommissioned plant is less of a risk in terms of accident or as a terrorist, well, they're the terrorists, aren't they? The non-regulatory commission requirements are too stringent. Off-site emergency plants are not necessarily for permanently defueled nuclear power plants, it states in his request, explaining that Holtec can't make a profit by being a good guy, can handle any situation that would most likely to occur, which is ludicrous to suggest. New York State is requesting Holtec that the NRC not allow the exemption because of recent mishaps at a nuclear plant that Holtec is decommissioning in New Jersey. The high number, high number, huge numbers of recent safety violations, Oyster Creek, raises questions about whether this facility and the owner in particular warrant any exemptions. So what have they been up to? How many have they poisoned is what you should be asking yourself. There's a dense population. Most nuclear plants are located in rural areas surrounded by farms so they can poison you in the supermarket. Indian Point is 24 miles from the largest city in the country. About 17 million people live within a 50-mile radius of the disaster known as Indian Point. And Indian Point spent fuel pools are six miles west of New Croton Reservoirs. See, like, fuel pools can melt down. You get a, a tornado come through there or a catastrophic normal storms that we're getting for many years since Fukushima, caused by Fukushima, lose power, they can melt down pretty quickly. The spent fuel pool can never be safe. First off, they're boiling off 120,000 liters each a day. To six miles west of the reservoirs, which provides drink water for New York City. Does anybody really think New York is not poisoned by Indian Point and New Jersey's? Because they're always hemorrhaging radiation, right? 
The mountains and cliff funnel wind up and down river, which could mean the radiation release from Indian Point, which is constant from the fuel pools even today, would be directed towards New York City and West Point, Phillipstown, Phillipstown, Newsburg, and Beacon. Well, that's, that's been going on for 60 years then. According to the degenerate NRC, the U.S. nuclear plant's most at risk of being damaged by earthquake isn't in California or the Pacific Northwest. It's Indian Point, which was built near the intersection of two active seismic zones. Uh, if, you, if you go look up how Indian Point kills fish, you're in for a brutal awakening. And so it's on a fault line. And research like the 2008 report found it to be much higher than what the plant and the spent fuel facilities were built to withstand. So an earthquake will definitely take out the fuel pools. There's no way to evacuate 17 million people on top of that. And Holtec's legacy is horrific. Wait till at least they emptied the fuel pools. Like a corporation like that, just trying to make a profit, should never be in charge. This should be all universities, major institutions doing it. The Navy is closed in four Puget Sound submarine dry docks following an earthquake risk study. I didn't know they had earthquakes over there. I don't know why I never thought about it, but they're on a fault line. Our temporary closed after the service found they're at risk for earthquake damages. They're going to keep the docks empty, which means they're not doing it because they're bored. They're doing it because it's a real threat. So will not result in a reduction of 14,000 people working, victims that are working there. Right by a major fault line. You really think they didn't know that existed? The World Health Organization. It's pretty hard to articulate how much of a scumbag they actually are without taking a little, the next eight hours. I don't know if I can cover it all in eight hours. Speakers mostly support the Trisol X fuel facility at a meeting. Speakers mostly. First off, you're talking about a mixed oxide fuel facility with weapons grade fuel which means that you're going to poison everything and this is Oak Ridge which has a uh, 80 year legacy of contaminating everything <sighs> makes me sick to my guts when I see it U.S. atomic veterans describe haunting moments witnessing an A-bomb being dropped and then they've been victimized by how many administrations? Every administration since the 50s and 60s have turned their backs on the veterans. Every single one. Uh, the Swedish new reactor is delayed again. pressure vessel was damaged like it's so old by the time they uh, tried to start it up everything was breaking down that's the norm in the nuclear industry right I can't even remember what that was for well guess what we made it actually made it through I uh, can't believe it <clears throat> miracle that's a friggin miracle we made it through it I'm gonna close the poll down I guess is pro degenerate monstrous scumbag nuclear the opposite the opposite of being a human Uh, yeah.
It is, Dana. It's hard to imagine somebody voted no. Like, I don't know why the pro-nuclear comes here. Do you really think that I'm going to change? <laughs> Yeah, the heart attacks blew up my eyesight. Now I can't read the screens without glasses anymore. That sucks. <clears throat> what else is new? It's all good anyway, right? Well, I'll call it a night, I suppose. That's all I can do. Hi, everybody. Good night, everybody. Hooks for everybody. Have a great night. Great day tomorrow. <clears throat> and we made it through another night. That makes me feel good. I've been sleeping for since Thursday nonstop. Every chance I get, I'm having to pass out. So we're still in recovery. We've got a long way to go. People ask me, how are you doing, Dana? I'm like, well, how do you think I'm doing? Don't ask me. Don't remind me, for goodness sakes. i got enough headaches. I know people mean well, but it's not helping me, right? I want to forget what happened to me. My life's a freaking disaster. I, I work like a dog constantly trying to do the moral and ethical thing. And I get censored so much. I got no choice. I got, you know, I... It's not like I can't, I can give up what I'm doing. It's not like I can stop what I'm doing because I can't live with myself by stopping. I'm looking forward to um, seven, eight weeks down the road when I get my health back. Um, just can't wait. I'm really looking forward to it. But I'm, I'm at least six or seven weeks away before... Like I'm taking a lot of drugs, so that'll knock the daylight out of you all day, every day, too. And we got minus 25 out there, uh, wind chills right now. It's been nasty cold. Down to minus 28 last night, wind chills. <laughs> Just holy shit. Cold temperatures. And Gabriel G., I think. I gotta look it up, maybe. I forgot to double check. Hang on. Bear with me. I get a little slack sometimes. Not slack, it's just I got a lot on my plate, right? Yeah, Kevin G donated thirty-two dollars last week. Thank you, Kevin. I just like putting it out there so people know that I actually received it. I screwed that up, did I? Here we go. But if I don't put it out, then I feel that people are not, might not be sure, right? And that's how we get things done around here. People have to donate or nothing happens. 
And because they closed down my last site with 24,000 subscribers, it's hard to get anything done anymore because it's hard to raise the money, right? And then everybody throws money at Greenpeace, hundreds of millions a year, and their job is to screw you over. Their job is to make sure you don't got a future. Finish this hit, we'll call it a night. Here we go, we made it. Okay, well, have a great night, a great day tomorrow. See everybody, hopefully, tomorrow night. I'm pretty burnt out. It's going to take a while to get up to full ramming speed, full curb stomping speed, full bashing speed. Night everybody, have a great night, great day tomorrow. I'll see everybody on the next show. And it's hopefully tomorrow night. And I'll read the comments later tonight or tomorrow. I always read everything. See everybody quick enough. I got a couple of shows ready to go. And so if I'm feeling up to it, I'll be doing a show tomorrow night. That's the plan, right? But when you're sick, plans can change. So just a forewarning. Uh, I'm intending to do a show tomorrow night, so I'll try my best. Have a great night, great day tomorrow. We'll see everybody on the next show. Take care, folks. <laughs>